Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be brewing coffee using Bialetti's Kitty Induction Mocha Pot. Meow, the Bialetti Kitty is another timeless, quality built, full stainless steel stovetop espresso maker, and it differs from other Bialetti stainless steel models by having 100% of its assembly being stainless steel without any aluminium used. Being stainless steel means it's perfect for using on any stovetop and is compatible with induction as well as ceramic, gas, and electrical. It also sports a soft touch, heat resistant handle that sticks out a little bit further than most other mocha pot handles do, and this helps get a good grip without accidental burns to your hands. Now the kitty comes in a few different sizes from two all the way up to 10 cups. And it is important to note that the two cup model will not work on induction stovetops. Today, I'm gonna to be making coffee using the six cup kitty. And if you're wanting to shop any of these sizes, you can find them in this link in the top corner of your screen. So let's jump straight in now and start brewing using the six cup Bialetta kitty. Now first up, I'm gonna fill the bottom vessel with water to just below the pressure valve, which is around 350 mils of water. Now you can underfill it here if you're wanting to make less cups, but I would suggest keeping it limited to about half the capacity of the mocha pot to ensure you're still getting a strong enough brew. After that, we're gonna fill our coffee basket with beans. I found this is an easy way to measure out the exact amount of coffee each time but the Bialetti six cup kitty also holds approximately 35 grams of beans. Now this will differ depending on the size of the Bialetti model you're using. You wanna grind your coffee to a coarse espresso grind, somewhere on the scale of a two or a two and a half on a grinding scale of one to 10. And if it's store-bought coffee, that's usually ground fine enough for mocha pot, so it'll be okay. But you will notice a significant difference in the quality of the coffee if you grind right before you brew. And finally, ground coffee will always produce a richer, creamier espresso coffee. So next, I'm just gonna transfer the grounds into the filter basket. I'm just using a spoon here. And then once I reach the top, I'm just gonna pat those grinds down nice and gently with the back of a spoon, but nothing too hard. I'm not really compressing it. I'm just making sure that it's a nice even surface on top. Place the filter basket on top of the water vessel, ensuring that the surface around the rim is free of any grounds, as we wanna make sure it's a nice tight seal when we screw down the top collector chamber to the heating vessel. Now I'm gonna place this on the stove on a low to medium heat. And especially on induction cooktops, you wanna make it a nice low heat as induction cooktops do tend to heat very quickly and they tend to pulse heat as well. So you wanna make sure that the pressure slowly rises in the unit and then it slowly percolates through the bed of coffee to get the best results. Now it should take five to six minutes to complete your brewing. So it will start off slow and then speed up at the end. And you'll know when it's done as you'll notice that there is steam coming out the top. And you don't wanna leave the mocha pot on the stove here too long. So turn off the heat and then remove the mocha pot to pour the coffee out straight into your cups. So I enjoy my coffee straight black. So I'm just gonna to top up my cup with a bit of hot water to like a long black. But in using a simple milk frother like the Bialetto Tuto Cremo or check out the Bellman Stovetop Steamer, these sorts of combos are an effective and quick way to produce a quality morning coffee at home that equals the deliciousness you would get in any regular cafe setting. Now in cleaning the kitty, make sure you wait for the unit to cool down and you can run it under some cold water to help speed this process up. Knock out the grounds and rinse everything really well underwater before drying it and then storing it away for next time. And that's the Bialetta Kitty Induction Mocha Pot for you. It's a great choice for making a rich, smooth and full flavoured coffee, quick and easy for one or more cups. It's a reliable coffee maker with a little bit of love, will last a very long time. So if you have any questions on the Bialetta Kitty, then throw them in the comment section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we keep bringing out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.